Hello everyone and welcome to Eschenko's Den. Today we've got something special. Today we are jumping into Rogue Empire Dark Heroes. This is the DLC that's coming out. Like, by the time this video goes live, this should be out already. But we're going to take, take, take a bit of a dive into it. Try it out. See what we can see. This comes especially from the developers. So I'm really excited to try this out. They sent me an early code so I could, I could jump in. So I'm, I'm excited, yeah. And if you want to see more First Impressions videos like these, just subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. But yeah, let's just get right in, man. I'm so excited. Short and pre-made, huh? Jump the campaign. Let's check. Now, uh, normal difficulty. Let's just go with that. Oh, <laughs> nice races there. Oh. I've never played this before, so this is actually my first time jumping in. Cat people, you always got me with cat people, but I think yeah, I saw the insectoids are like the race that's added in. That comes with, with the expansion, so let, let's try them out. Warrior Hunter, I think your yeah, Soul Reaver is also the new one. Yeah, but I don't want to go for something too difficult though. <clears throat> I usually like going with mages though. Learning curve complex, okay, so they actually say... Necromancer. Ah, let's take Necromancer. It's still something weird. I kind of like playing weird classes. Can learn dog spell, permanently race, and create undead creatures. They don't say if this one is difficult. It, I, I think it probably might be leaning towards more difficult. <coughs> Unique fighter that uh, uses souls of vanquish enemies while very powerful souls or extremely limited resources. Mm, okay, uh, let's let's try out the expansion race. You know, let's let's go with that. <laughs> After traveling for months and gathering information, you made a camp in a small cave. This cave is good hiding spot from the Queen's henchmen while you're considering how to proceed. <clears throat> There's a small human town called Arsenal nearby. From what you gather, they are suffering from attacks. Some are related to the Great Shadow. Probably a good place to start. I'm really loving the design of these guys. I'm just saying this is this is this is remarkable. This is very cool. I really like it. <clears throat> I'm really down with them. Uh, sorry if my thread gets a little bit scratchy. I'm suffering from a little bit of a case of... Um, okay, so up. I move. Uh, using the mouse or the arrow keys. Oh, you can use both. Okay. And you can pick up. Okay, never mind. Um, you can access your character information and by clicking the portrait. Got it. <clears throat> Press I. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so. Oh. oh, I understand. Okay. Wait, can't I use this one? Oh, just double click it. Okay. Press escape. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking. Use the ability to click on it. Let's start the bottom action bar. Okay. Use some soul. Or oh, I can just hit the key. Okay. Find a passage to another level. In order to use this passage, you get on top of it and press the E key. First, let's just check it out. Maybe there's something here for me. I doubt it. I feel like... I can just click it. It's either you can use the keyboard or the mouse. I'm using the mouse right now. You are healthy. Oh, okay, cool. Uh... Have eaten properly and feel satisfied. Oh, because you're also gonna have to like eat stuff as well. Mm. Oh, what the hell? Uh, attack the barricade by clicking on it. Did you know Rogue Empire is a turn base so you can carefully consider your next action? Oh, okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> Yo, I just got pulled into this. Uh, more damage that cannot be dodged or missed. Mission there is. Paralyzed. Uh, oh, I need more souls. Oh, that guy was... Okay, these are the first fights. So, this is going to be easy. Okay, so this is my XP mirror. Where do I see my souls, though? They're in souls. Oh, obviously it's there. I suck out your soul. Your soul will be mine. Okay. So you can kind of like lure them out. 
<clears throat> as well. Uh... Ah, you die! You self potion highlighted on the bottom. Okay, so it's, it's number six. Okay, I healed quite a bit. At least I have three. Oh, now you get food. Oh, it's a rat. Okay, I can start using my soul abilities now, I think. I think I'm in a good spot to use that. On top of our item, just to pick up the item. Oh, crap. I did not mean to leave. Oh, there is an item. Oh, I used my ability. Okay, okay. Um, I should have agility. Hmm. Quickly check out what we have going here. So I can just chuck it down there as well. If I like, if I like. Another potion of agility. Okay, nice, nice. These things, man. I'm finding all sorts of things. <clears throat> okay, I got him. <clears throat> okay. At least I got more, more, more health potion. Hotion. <laughs> I got more hotion. Health potion. I mean to say. But you can call it a hotion if you like. I, I mean... So a mana potion would be a motion, I guess. <laughs> okay, so just walking over it. I feel like I'm getting a bit very excited with my movements. I should probably plan them out a bit better. Like, just one, just a step at a time. Or else I'm going to move into a tricky situation again. Oh, there's a map. Okay, I was just about to say, I wish there was a map. And then I pressed the M key. You know, the universal key for maps, M. Um, I think I've done it. I think, yeah, we're good here. They're like, ah, oh, character screen. Okay, obviously. You know, in, in these games, I love that they always bind the hotkeys to exactly the stuff that it's always been. So you always know what you're going to click, what you're going to get. If you press the M button, you're always going to get a map. If you press I, inventory, C, character, that's always good. It's always a good thing to know. I love the design of my guy. I love that I picked up the axe and he's wearing it. I wonder if I get armor as if... Oh, you're going to get it now. No mercy. Hey, I got a motion. Simple sling. Oh. Uh, why did I just press R button? No more race po Oh, okay. No more rest needed. Okay, so you can actually at least rest where you wanna. If you need some rest, just press, press the R button. <clears throat> nope. I'm, I'm not interested in you, my friend. Close to leveling though, so I'm quite excited about that. <clears throat> Bletties. I love that every race has their own stuff. Man, I'm really excited about this game. I am really, really down with what's going on here. <clears throat> oh, he got me. He actually came after me. Oh, and we leveled. Okay, we leveled. Time, time to level. I love this. Uh, choose, uh, choose a contemplation bonus to enhance your character. Okay, okay. Hmm, what do I need bigger? <laughs> I think to level up fixed aspect. The game is usually quite doing something notable. <clears throat> oh, I'm loving the music. <laughs> Pick your contemplation. You contemplate about the time you made use of agility to save yourself from a dangerous situation. Oh, okay. Now the survival depends with standing hits. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so you like contemplate something. Remember how glad you were when you found that stash of rations. Ooh. The rations I guess is good for resting. 
Totally hit points. Let's go. Oh, these goes up. You you can't select them. You pick a contemplation though. So these bonuses are set. Um, but then you choose something here. Yeah, let's go with let's go with constitution. You can ability, did you know? Ability cards are randomly shuffled. <clears throat> a little bit of card rarity. Okay. So it's kind of like a little bit of deck building sidestep. It increases your dodge chance by 50% for three turns. Short left rift into the spirit world. Two to three will of west will emerge while the rest of these creatures are weak. That's all which is so we can consume. Uh let me let me go. I'm gonna just keep on upgrading my, my main ability. <clears throat> you know? So far it served me good, and that is always a good thing. <clears throat> Oh dear. Yeah, just use my ability. The extra damage really helps. <laughs> just have at the. Oh, you can zoom out. I was about to say, I felt a little bit close. Well, minor cliff of mana block allows you to infuse gear of power okay okay well i just got like a a, a weak ass little sword there not quite something you brag about so i'm gonna wait mm. Oh, you can switch between weapons. Okay, I'm liking this. I wonder if it takes a turn to switch. Like, it, by the time I switch, they would have moved closer. Uh, well, let's test that. Oh, no, no, it's like a freebie. Okay, cool. Wow, you just went at me, didn't you? Let me grab some items. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> this is for more for filters. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, out of ammo, you actually need ammo for that. Never mind. Since I just picked up, like, you know, a um, bunch of arrows, it makes sense. Uh, okay, let's let's see. Um, let's compare. Oh, yeah, that does more damage. 7 plus... Ooh, although... 7 plus 1d10, so it's 60-15, that one is... Okay, so it's less top, but more bottom damage, basically. And you per hit, there's some chance. I'm going to stick with my axe. I feel kind of the axe speaks to me. It's it's my soul weapon, you know? The two of us have been through much. We, we made a, a long journey to get here. Oh, a snake. Should have known. Okay, I think I'm at the edge here, yes. So, let's just clear this out. So, I don't want to be too, man. I'm, I'm, like, really racing into stuff. I keep on telling myself I should not do this, but I get very eager. And the bracer. All right. I wonder if it's going to be like physical customization to your character where you can like improve like your look. Oh, welcome to the world map. This is a world map. Based on your character stats and explore while moving. Exploring can fire up events. Energy spent moving depends on the location type and how much it is explored. 
Ambitious, ambitious Roar Thing. Okay, thanks for saying that. Um, what does the percentages mean? Character's hungry. Oh, crap. I just kept on moving on one spot. Uh, okay, rations. I need some rations. Okay, got it. Okay. A oh, fairly difficult types of terrain to traverse. Moving through unexplored fungal groves. Okay, let me. Okay, so that's your hunger at the bottom, I think. Small forgotten dungeon. Okay, well, let's explore the world a little bit, man. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, let, let, let me first finish the, the first level. Let me just do this. Oh, this guy. These vines, man, they keep on coming at me. Oh, it's like groves that kind of like restrict your movement, I guess. Apple. Mm. This one turn result in an 80% bonus. Did physical damage done. Nice. Okay. I should remember that. Oh, yes. Come closer. Because if you just click on the spot, you basically wait. Okay, that is a good thing to know. That helps a lot. Oh, passing of intelligence. I don't think I'm going to be one of those intelligent types, though. This character is definitely more brawn. coverage 4% 10% 3 points I oh, said so they hit specific locations I think it seems hmm. <clears throat> okay, well this one gives me at least a bit more protection oh he's ranged uh, okay never mind You, you guys are the worst. At least I got him. Perishable food. Yeah, let me just eat that because I need me some food. Uh, where do I see my hunger? Uh. Get out of my way, vines. You're not welcome in my dungeon. I do not take kindly to vines. They, they're itchy. Can only swap. Oh. A friendly character. Oh, that's interesting. You swap locations of characters. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying there. I see. I can't destroy that. So I think we're just about done there. Go see what else they have. Our rations. At least like they give as much like back as I use. Like I kill, I can kill like someone and then get it back. So I, I feel like that is definitely worth like taking out guys in one shot so i'm always sure probably like when you're gonna fight like a boss or someone who's very tough you can have to use multiple shots but even then it's worth it i think this ability is definitely worth its weight in well, not quite gold but soul <laughs> i don't quite didn't notice you there my furry little friends Oh, teleport back. Um, okay, wooden ring. It's equipable. Just doesn't really give you anything. <laughs> so, okay. That's definitely for selling. Um, 
also spell teleport to a random location one. Teleports the target to a random location within tiles from a cast location. Okay, so if you get surrounded, I think this is going to be a very useful thing to have. Let me just put it there. Uh, I wonder what determines this, since this, there are percentages like involved here. Um, maybe my constitution. The better my constitution is, the more I get satiated. Might be. I'll have to explore that possibility. Uh, okay, well, that goes on. I think I've done everything that needs to be done here. Okay, yeah. Onward we go. Oh, are we like in a dungeon now? Here's how I... I'm gonna find farms. They are probably are not farms, like cities. <laughs> farms. Oh, we might encounter that as well, but like cities and towns where I can... At least... Okay, this... How do I get there? This This place seems to be... Uh, closed off. Oh. Let me just eat something. Nom 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 nom. Uh, All of these useful informations. HP region. Oh, you actually have HP region as well. Influence by the constitution. Let me see if they show hunger somewhere here. Association. Try to avoid getting hungry. Oh, wow, I'm only on 30%. I'm really gonna need some food. There's a chest there. Come on, man. There must be a way in here. Really getting hungry now. Ah, oh, damn. My hunger. Oh, wow. You can move the map around. Oh, did I respawn? Oh, crap. Or was that just a straggler I missed somehow? Might be a straggler. I'm unsure about you, straggler. Oh man, I feel bad about the chase pack there. I feel like I missed something. Destroy the barriers. Over there. I'd like to find a, a town though. Oh, you can't rest in the world map. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Oh, it's easy and safe, guys. Okay? So, so the most gentle type of terrain, safer to cross. Okay. Oh well, it's a town. I actually I was looking for a town, so now I found my town. Hey, how you doing? I'm watching you. Oh, don't cause any trouble, will ya? Hello there. Okay, let's not break things. You know the mayor, if you have a problem, it might help you. I think you guys have a problem though. I I, I can't. What? What a prediction of ten or advantage feels safe. Uh Hey, how you doing? Did you meet Pentius the merchant? No, I have not. Where is he? Oh, Looks there like he is. you could use an extra blade. Mm, let me sell this. And this. Possibly this. What can I buy? I need rations. I'm so hungry. Um, yo, 2.30. Um, that's quite expensive. Crap. 
but I need it. Bonds door key. Open specific types of door locks. Oh, but it's expensive. But probably going to be worth it when I eventually am able to use it. Man, don't you guys have like a tavern where I can eat or something? This is a safe place. Most friendly characters. Is there like a bar to see how hungry I am? Because they show this. I just want to see like my hunger levels. You have to come in here, satiated. Don't avoid getting hungry. Hmm. Do I have to get this to 100% or is 36 fine? 36 feels very low though. Oh. I feel very bad for that. I feel like I took something just now. It probably didn't belong to me, but... Sense the influence of shadows. Ooh. I don't know what that means, but I feel it's something that's very, very, very useful. So, we're going to stick with it. It's definitely... If I was a mayor, where would I be? Hey, you. Uh, I hope you stay for a few days. Nobody visits optional anymore. Well, I just did. The town is very confusing. Oh. I'm going to unlock the door to try to kick it down. If you have the proper key, you can simply unlock the door. Uh, I don't want to kick down your doors, though. I, I, I can't. You can't what? What's happening? Uh, someone broke into my kitchen. Just tell the mayor. Uh, okay. I shall tell him. At least it wasn't me. This time, it was not me. Hmm... Where would the mayor be? I was the mayor of this little place. Uh, if you have a problem, it might help you. Uh, in ambushes. Uh, it's a poor place. Looks like you could use an extra blade. Uh, okay, it's just the merchant, right? Oh, oh <laughs> I just highlighted the guy and they said highlight the kick command. Oh, the ring tells me this. Oh, there's not a lot of shadows there. It's probably gonna go up, way up. I'm watching you, okay. Shopping might lift up my spirits. Um. Did I just hit something? I think I did. Uh, are you the mayor? Ah, oh, yes. I was right here. I should have just spoken to the guy. It has been three weeks since the human capital city of Tandor was engulfed in a shadow barrier. No more kingdoms are left standing. Oh dear. You have no idea how to destroy the barrier, but this is your ultimate goal. Maybe the mayor of the small town of Orsmont to West has some clues. Mm, okay. Meet the mayor. Wait, what? You meant to be source of shadow fiends. Oh yes, Jenko. Yes, you fit the description. I was instructed to give you a ring. Uh, now Arsenal has been around for 400 years. On Dungeon's journey, the Tower of the Sages to the West is a place to find answers. Dungeon to the South is meant to be a source of shadow fiends. Uh, okay. Is it okay if I take some stuff? Um. Oh, I got an achievement. Traveler! Uh, ooh. Wait. Mm, let's go with strength. Uh, soul shield. Oh, this is a good one. It's all purple, so it's like... It's like epic or rare or something. Um, three souls while active. Each soul around you has a percent chance to intercept and nullify the damage done. Uh, okay. I think that's going to be a good one.
Okay, they don't mind if I, like, go around and break this stuff, so... I think I'm gonna do that, then. I'm gonna destroy some of your stuff, you know? Just, just a peek inside. Just, just a bit. I feel there's a better way to, like, get around my hunger. You're very hungry. Much slower healing. You feel somewhat weak. Uh, okay, so that's a way to work around that. Um, at least this level is safe. I think the quest. Meet the mayor of the town of Orson to the west. Okay, did that. Explore the ruins of Findor. Follow its underground passage to find a source of the nearby shadows. Okay, so I need to go to f the ruins of Fendor. Which is just a better way to, like, work through my hunger issues, man. I have hunger issues. Um. Let you get regeneration and you're, like, quite healthy. I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm really, I'm really down. Really interested in this. Liking how all of this goes. Okay, well... Since I'm here and I'm hungry, I need some small rations. I do feel such a don't I? Back to the overworld. <laughs> really enjoying the art style as well, man. The game looks really nice. It's really interesting. Is this the place of the barrier? Hey, 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 hey. Not so fast. You fiends. Oh. Hey, you should just, you should just go. Holy bolt. Okay. Sounds good. Our health potion. Always a must. Oh wow, this level is big. I, I feel kind of... I'm still fighting rats, so I, I felt for a second maybe I'm in over my head where I'm not supposed to be, but then again, this is going alright. Man, these little offing guys. 15 stones. Um... Warm. Okay. Then I put a barrier around myself. Oh, that, that, that was the first enemy I took more than one hit. Wow. I'm, I'm getting to closer and closer to the tough guys. Wow, okay. Killed some sort of... Very prepared. Oh, nice. I'm glad I'm prepared. Then staff. Wow. This is a situation. Oh, too many words on my screen. I don't know what just happened. Fill the world immersing deeper into shadows. Man, I'm killing stuff. Don't you stress. I will I'll get your shadows. I'll show them. Damage absorbed. Oh, so this thing is really working, man. I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad my abilities. I, I did not choose the wrong thing. That dog died. A horrific death. Well, I don't think that was a dog. That was probably more of a crazy wolf. Deranged wolf. You got two attacks. Wow. Okay, a glyph. Simple sling. Potion of agility. Whoa. Okay. Oof. Oof, I say. Oof. And I'm really liking the game. It was very intuitive, very smooth. You. Definitely feel like you're in control. But yeah, no, this... A 
can't really judge how the game was before and after the expansion. How much changed since... Oh. Well, you're preparing a great blow. Oh. At least I found an apple to eat. That is good. I'm not sure before and after the DLC how much has changed, but... I'm really liking what I see now. Like the game definitely has, like, a style and all of its... Its own vibe and its feel that I really like. Oh, these bats dodge. One shot. Wow. This ability is definitely worth its... Worth its salt. Oh, damn. I'm glad I got him in one shot. These bats are a little bit much, man. They are a little bit much. No, I think I created this. I wonder what is this like descending into shadows part of the game. Fendor runes. Okay, so this is where I need to be actually. But yeah, this is a little bit longer than I usually do videos, but since yeah, I'm checking this out for the first time. The uh, the DLC that's coming out, I'm I'm really excited about this one. I'm really glad I got to try this. Thank you so much to the devs. They were very kind enough to let me have a glimpse into the game before it came out, and I am really psyched about this. I'm I think definitely you guys can check this one out. If you're into this, this sort of like turn-based turn-based combat with different like well enemies and RP, this sort of RPG structure, it's definitely worth checking out. So I'm definitely gonna say yeah, I'll go down, check in the description. There's gonna be a link to to go wishlist the game or even buy it. Like it it really it's really it's really one worth checking out. I'm I'm really down, man. I enjoy this art style. I'm really keen to see the other races in action as well. Cat people, man. Cat people. That's how you talk to me. You add like a cat race to a game. Because you and all that, man. I'm really, I'm down with that. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really excited about this one. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing some more of it. I'm going to definitely check it out on my Twitch channel. You can find down in the description below my socials and a link to my Twitch. Where I'm going to play this game. Definitely. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for checking this one out with me. I really appreciate it. So what do you think about the game? Comment down below. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more Videos like these, I do some fresh impressions of games that I've never played before, indie games, and some some remakes of some classic games as well. I'm really, I'm really keen to check more of this game. And yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for checking this out with me. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. It's it's a crazy world out there. At least there's no monsters roaming, but but the world is still a crazy place out there. So <laughs> on this on this very ominous note. In enormous ruins. I'm gonna tell you guys to take care of yourselves and thank you much so much for stopping by and until next time. <laughs>